Mokusen visited the Adherin's wife and held his clenched fist before her face. The master said, suppose my hand is always like a fist, what do you call it? Deformed, replied the woman, deformed. He opened his hand flat in her face and asked, suppose it was always like that, what then? Another kind of deformity, said the wife. Then he opened his hand flat and showed her, what is this? She said again, deformed, yes. Extremes are not very good. The people who are holding on, it is deformed, it is handicapped. It creates constipation, tension, problems. You have to save in our yoga, in the pranayama, anuloma viloma, inhale, 4, retention, 16, exhale, 8. Inhale, 4. Retention 16, exhale 8. That is 4 into 4 times and exhalation is into 2 times. That means you take 4 and then you retain into 4 16 times and then you share into 2. That is 8 times. That goes as multiplication. Your saving is very important. Then it goes to 5. Inhale 5, retention is 20, exhalation is 10, 5 into 2. Exhalation means you give, you share. We all inhale. That is the saving. Before God, we have taught these shastras to so many people, but then it remained as a physical exercise. It has not gone into the depth of every human being's heart in India. Everything when you make that four times, if I give you one rupee into four times, you have got to work hard. You have to make an attempt four steps ahead and then immediately, you immediately, immediately don't wait for our Loka Yukta to come to your house and say, please share another into two times. Loka Yukta is only telling you, please share two times. That's all. Look at the woman, she said, a clenched fist is also... Handicap, deformed, even an open hand is also deformed. Two extremes. Some people say, I want to give, and they start giving and giving, and there's nothing at home. You must give. But follow the anuloma viloma, follow the pranema, inhale one, retention is four, exhale is two. That is, when you take one, work hard to make it into four times. And then you give into two. You must give two. 